And meanwhile, as testing sites continue to pop up around the Midlands, we want to make sure that you understand that what you're being tested for. Our Lauren Thomas spoke with News 19 medical reporter Rosemary Belts. The number of COVID-19 cases continues to rise in South Carolina. DHEC encourages that people continue to get tested, but what tests are available? I spoke with Dr. Rosemary Belts, our medical reporter, who works as a cardiovascular perfusionist in a COVID-19 unit. We want to concentrate on the diagnostic test for the coronavirus, which is the swab test. And then we also have the antibody test, and that's going to be an indicator if you've contracted the virus. The swab test, which tests for the active COVID-19 virus, is a long Q-tip that goes up your nose. Dr. Belts says it should be swabbed for 15 to 20 seconds. Is it uncomfortable? Yes. But 15 to 20 seconds, I know we've been talking about that number, uh, so, you know, happy birthday. It, it's going to probably feel longer than it is, but it's nothing that you should be afraid. It's not a needle. Um, uh, you know, it's just, like I said, it's a little uncomfortable, but it's painless. As for the antibody test, that can be a blood sample, but it's important to do it at the right time. It takes about seven days for the virus to sort of present in the body, but it takes about two weeks for the body to to create antibodies. So if you take that test at, at a time where if you don't know when you were exposed, you could have been exposed but test negative because your body just hasn't had the time to build up the antibodies. Okay. So that that's the confusion with this test. There's still so much that the medical community doesn't know about the virus, but if you're getting tested, it's important to ask the right questions. Make sure you know what you're getting tested for. Um, and don't be afraid to say, you know, these are my symptoms or I don't have symptoms, you know, why you want to have the test. So just ask questions, know what you're getting tested for. And even with all of that, still wear a mask and socially distance. In Columbia, Lauren Thomas, News 19, WLTX.